This conference yes. will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and welcome back to Docker series. Today I'm going to cover the most popular Docker commands, which are very important, which will be if you're working on Docker. So these are the commands you will be using daily basis in your daily routine activities, in your office work or in your in your deployment work. If you are using Docker, definitely these are the most popular commands you have to use it. So as I told you in my previous videos that okay, Docker okay, is a kind of engine which has to be which has to be available on your hardware or on or your laptop. And then after that, you have to start that engine. And then after that, you guys can start loading the images and then you can start creating the containers. So those things we will see it practically today. So first, what we need to do guys that uh, we need to in the previous video, make sure that okay, I have already told you that uh, how to install Docker desktop. Docker engine should be available, so my end should be up and running. So you can see that okay, yes, about uh, my Docker desktop is running up and running. So make sure your Docker engine is also okay working and up and running on your system. Either it is Windows or Mac machine, and commands will remain same. Okay, don't don't worry about that. And if you are using Windows machine, you have to open your Docker uh, Docker command prompt, Docker terminal, which is already given by. Okay, Docker guys. In my previous video, I've already explained that. Okay, how to get your uh, Docker terminal or Docker command prompt. Now, what we have to do that make sure it's up and running, and then we need to check a couple of things first. We need to log in into Docker Hub. So quickly, you just go to hub. Dot Docker. Dot com. So this is the site. This is the cloud site provided by Docker. All the images are available for whatever the software you want over here, right? So you can search your software, let's see for Selenium. Okay, if you want to search, see Selenium Chrome is also available. Hub is also available. Standalone Firefox, Node Chrome is available. If you want to have, let's see, uh, Ruby on Rails. So you can start uh, with Ruby also like this. You can write, let's see, Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a Linux version, right? Operating system, you can take Ubuntu also. So let's see, I want to take Jenkins. So you can take Jenkins also, right? So these are the different images are available. So there are two important things. First, we need to do guys. What we have to do, let me explain you quickly that these images are available on the hub. Okay, where on Docker Hub. So this is the Docker Hub. Let's see DH. These images are available, are hosted over here. So like this, right? And this is your laptop, this is your hardware. You have to pull all these images over here, like this, as an image. Right, let's see these two images I have. Okay, I have fetched from Docker Hub, and after that, so this is called pulling. Right, this is called pulling. And then what we have to do, then you have to start. Okay, then you have to run these images. And whenever the, you run these images, then the container will be created. So to create the container, okay, you have to run these images. So you have to execute one command that is called run command. Okay, I'll tell you how to do that. So first step is pulling. Second step is run. And after running, there are a couple of things you guys can do it with this particular container. Either you can you know stop the container, you can rest, you can restart the container, you can delete the container, right? Or these images are also available. Let's see, this is the first image. This is the second image. And after that, we have to run these images to create the container. So the moment you pull the images, container will not be created. Remember this, guys. Whenever you pull the images, container will not be created. Container will be created after running the <clears throat> image. So you have to pull the image, and then to create the container, you have to run the image. Then only container will be created. And then for these containers, you can start the container, you can stop the container, you can remove the container, you can kill the container, number of commands you can perform on the containers. For images also, we have, we can, right? Images will take some disk space, okay, on your laptop, on your hardware. This is my laptop, right? So it will take some space, okay, on the system. So you can uh, remove it also, right? You can remove all the images and a couple of commands also. We can see that, okay? Uh, we will see that what are the different commands for images available. So you can remove the images. You can make some space also in your memory. Once image is not okay being used by anyone, you can remove it also. There are certain images. Let's see, you have pulled some images. Let's see, this particular image is there, but this image does not have any container. So these are these these kind of images are called dangling images. 
so these dangling images also we can okay remove these are called remove dangling images we will see also those things so guys this is a life cycle the first point is pull the images second thing is second step is you have to run the images third one is then this container got created and after that these are the fourth okay these are the fourth steps that okay you can remove delete start restart and all those things you guys can do it so this is called a docker image life cycle or container life cycle right so let's see how exactly you will do in the form of command in the form of different commands so let's see so let me remove this diagram right so first thing guys first thing we need to check what kind of docker version is installed so quickly you can check docker space hyphen hyphen version you will see that okay yes docker is around 19.03 okay this is the latest version is available on my system after that what we need to do let's say i want to pull an image so let's say i'll search for ubuntu ubuntu is a linux operating system so i'll search for ubuntu let's see so the moment you search for ubuntu it's saying that okay you can pull docker pull ubuntu like this right so okay so let's pull this particular image first so first before pulling this i'll show you how many images are there so you just run docker images so let's see on my system the uh, these three images are already available you can see that every image i'm having already having some sql server this is a sql server i'm having sonar cube and i'm having this particular database postgres database also these three images are already available but ubuntu image is not available so i'm going to pull the ubuntu image and then again we will see so docker you simply write pull ubuntu okay and then you run it and you will see that default add latest means latest ubuntu will be captured right okay now you can see that it started downloading right but you must be surprised at guys that docker whatever the image the ubuntu image see if you uh, install the ubuntu image on your system it is at least 1.5 gb to 2 gb around it's a very heavy operating system right either you have to get the cd or dvd for that and then you have to install it or maybe some image you have to get it the ubuntu separate image and that is around 1.5 to 2.5 gb but here docker will get this particular ubuntu only the required libraries and the binaries okay whatever it's needed only those certain libraries it will be okay downloaded on your system so it's around let's see 80 to 90 mb only so 80 to 90 mb as compared to 2 gb software it's quite lightweight so this image is very very lightweight this is how okay uh, this is how all these things work so the container works it's very lightweight so now what we have to do again I'll execute this command docker images so docker images you can see that now ubuntu image is available on my system right ubuntu image is available on my system then this is the image id and tag is latest means latest ubuntu i have taken and this is the name of the repository name this is a thing someone has created around two weeks ago something like this on okay over here like this so we have taken the latest ubuntu image from this particular docker pull command now what we need to do the moment we get the docker image container is not there so how to check how many containers are there on your system so you simply write docker ps command okay and then it will tell you right now only docker ps means how many running containers are available on your system so right now i have only two running containers one is sonar cube and one is postgres and if you want to see how many ps minus a means how many docker containers are available including running and non-running so you can see that three containers are there the status is two are up and running from last 25 hours and uh, one the sql server uh, exited only from last 43 hours ago right i created around three days ago which is okay this container is available on my system but it's not up and running but how many total containers are there three containers are available on my system you can clearly see that whatever the image that we have created this ubuntu available on my system we haven't started the container for this image right so how to start the container now so let me clear the screen now you simply write docker run okay 
docker run and then simple write minus it it means the interactive mode okay i want that okay in the background also it should be interactive mode and minus d means create a daemon thread so that i can access this particular uh, container okay with a thread or minus d means a daemon thread which will be interacted which will be uh, a daemon thread will be created in the background so it will be up and running all the time if you uh, cancel the terminal uh, cancel the terminal uh, terminal also or if you close the terminal also so let's see like this and then you simply write whatever uh, okay that ubuntu image that we have captured so let's see this is the ubuntu and you simply write like this and you see that you will get this particular message some id you will be getting over here and then it means it's up and running or now i quickly check that docker ps minus a you can see that uh, ubuntu container got created so docker run command is used to create the container from an image right guys so you can see that container id ubuntu image is this and you can see 11 seconds ago it's up and running now right so there are two commands for checking the container ps only ps means how many okay containers are up and running docker ps minus a minus a means all it means it will give you total number of containers which are in active state and which are non active state it will give you the entire list of all the containers so what we have seen we have seen we have uh, pulled the image we have executed the image and we have created the container also for ubuntu fine so let me clear the screen now once we get the container a lot of things we can do so first i'll check okay ps and uh, let's see docker ps so this is the container and each and every container is having its own container id so this is a container id and uh, this is some uh, name and this is a, some command is there created around something like this the status is up and running about a minute ago now you can restart this container also guys you simply write container restart let's see this container is not working you want to restart the container you can simply say restart and then write the container image over here like this and container will be restarted back see it got restarted it means you will get the same container id it means it got restarted if you want to stop the container so let's say i want to stop the container so docker stop image id you need to write sorry container id you need to write and then it got stopped and then the moment you execute docker ps see now the ubuntu container got stopped that's why it's showing only two rows for the container right with docker ps but if you check docker ps minus a it means see it got exited around 17 seconds ago the ubuntu got exited it means it got stopped just because of this command now you want to start this container once again so you simply write docker start and the image id the container image id and then again you check docker ps minus a you will see that again once again ubuntu got started around three seconds ago right very simple but very powerful after that if you want to check what exactly if you really want to get into a container so you simply write docker exec command is there exec so docker exec simple write minus t interactive mode and then you write the container id this is a container id and i want to get into the bash you can see that now that particular container which was available on my system it means what exactly it's saying that this is the hardware on this particular hardware my docker uh, engine is running and on this particular docker engine this container is available the container name is ubuntu right and the user is available over here on the system this is my laptop right this is the user i want to get into this container it means what is happening in this particular ubuntu linux system it means what you have to do you have to write docker exec minus t minus it and then i want to get into bash so you can see that root is the user right and then this is the container now i have actually okay i have actually get into in this particular and now whatever i want to do it over here i can do it right in this particular uh, in this particular uh, now i'm actually into ubuntu so let's say i want to check what is ls i mean how many libraries or directories are available you can see that okay, these are the directories i can simply say that so now i have actually 
come out of uh, the hardware i mean come out of the uh, the docker and then actually coming inside the container and the container name is ubuntu so you have to execute like this okay now you can control the uh, container also but if you write let's see docker hyphen version on this particular ubuntu docker is not available so it will give you docker command not found because my docker is running on my hardware right docker is running on my hardware on my laptop and container will behave like a separate okay a virtual container where ubuntu operating system is available but on ubuntu docker is not available ubuntu is available a docker is available on my mac machine right guys so that's why like this now if you really want to get out of this particular okay let's see i want to get out of this particular container using the right exit again back to my machine it means and now if you check docker version you will see yes again back to docker right okay now how to remove remove also uh, very important sometimes uh, we have to remove the container we have to okay so what you need to do simple write a docker rm rm means remove and you just write the docker whatever the docker which docker you want to remove so let's see first i'll check how many dockers are available so uh, these are the docker containers are available let's say i want to remove this particular container so i'll simple write docker rm now see the moment i try to remove it saying that you cannot remove a running container why because this container is already running so it's not like that okay the docker uh, somewhere it's running and you try to remove it no you have to stop it and then you have to remove so first i'll remove uh, stop so stop this particular container right and then i'll write docker rm and this command and now you can see that okay it got removed and then again i'll check docker uh, ps minus a and you can see that that ubuntu is gone now right it means i have removed the container so container got removed then let's see what about the image is removed or not so again i'll write let me remove this diagram first okay so i'll write simple command docker images and you see that okay image is available it means again i can start my container i can create the container once again so let's say i don't want to create the container now this image i don't want to use unnecessary it's taking around 64 mb on my system right and i want to remove this image also so how will you write docker you simply write rm rm for container and rmi for image so docker rmi and whatever the image id so this is my image id i want to remove this image from my system it's you can see that whatever the packages got installed all the packages got deleted for ubuntu and you can execute docker images once again see there are there is no ubuntu image right this is sql server image this is sonar cube and postgres ubuntu images deleted right so this is how you guys can do that so okay so let's download this particular uh, uh, ubuntu image once again so simple i'll write docker pull ubuntu okay so see again it will download the same image once again right and uh, i create one container from this image so simple docker run minus it interactive mode minus git daemon and uh, ubuntu okay it got created quickly i'll check docker ps minus a yes ubuntu is up and running now you can see that this container is up and running let me clear the image now we have one more command if you want to kill a container right forcefully stop a running container so if you try to write like this docker stop and this container it will tell you let's see docker got stopped uh, this particular container got stopped right no issues then i'll do one thing docker start this container once again got it started you can check docker ps minus a it got it started i want to remove this container which is already up and running so we have already seen docker rm and the container id 
it's saying that okay, you cannot remove. So you have to stop the container. But we have one command that is called docker kill. And then you try to kill this particular container. See, it got killed. So you with kill command, docker kill command, you can forcefully stop a running container also. Right, you can forcefully stop a running container also, guys. You guys can do it. And then again, you will check docker ps minus a. Right, so it's saying Ubuntu got exited like this. So this also you guys can do it. Right, now I want to check. Um, I want to check one more command is there. I forgot. Yeah, docker inspect. So first let's see how many containers are there. This is the container. I want to check what is, I want to check some information about this container. So you can inspect a container also. Simple so write docker inspect and the container ID and it will give you one JSON and it will, this particular JSON will have all the information about that container that what is what exactly the path on your system. This is the ID. Okay. All the information about this is the image ID. So if you really want to use okay uh, this metadata for this particular container, you guys can have a look and then it may be useful for your, see this is the network setting we are using for this guy. Like this, you can do it. Okay, so this is the information about, you can inspect a particular container. Fine. We have one more command that is see docker images also you can use it. How many images are there? Four images are there or you can use docker. The moment you write docker image, See, there is a difference between Docker images and Docker image. Okay, you cannot use it like this. So you, what you need to do, you simply write Docker image ls. It means list all the images. So either you root, uh, you use a Docker images or you use Docker image ls also. You guys can do it. Okay, now I'll do one thing. Uh, removing the images, I have already told you. Docker RMI you have to use. What I want to do. Um, how to remove the dangling images. What do you mean by dangling images? Dangling images means images are available, but which are not associated to any container, right? So let's see first docker ps minus a how many containers see this container is available. And I'll check docker images also. Yes, this is the image and this is the container. I'll try to delete this particular image. So docker rmi, okay, remove this particular. You can remove with the image name also or with the image ID also. So let's use image ID. It's saying unable to delete must be forced. Image is being used by this particular container. Okay, although this container is a stock, but it is being used by this, right? So what you can do is you simply write docker. I want to remove this image without doesn't matter that okay that it's associated to a docker or not so that is forceful forcefully you can remove it but there is one more command what you need to do uh, first i'll delete this particular container so how will you remove the container docker rm and remove this container so this is my container id container got removed and i'll check my images fine okay this is an image and I'll check docker ps minus a Ubuntu container is gone because I have removed it. And now this image is available in my system on my system without having any container. So this is this image is called dangling image, right? So how will you remove the dangling image? So simple write docker tune, right? Docker, uh, right? Like this docker image prune and uh, simple write minus a it means remove all those images which are not associated to any container so let's see this removing or not first it will ask you it will give you a warning that are you sure you want to continue yes why and then see that ubuntu image deleted from my system ubuntu latest image got deleted and now you can check you can clear it and then check docker images ubuntu images is gone Right, so this is also working fine, guys. So these are the things, guys. Around 12 to 13 commands are there, right? So quickly, if I you if I write it for you guys, so we have seen Docker version to check the things, Docker, okay, 
first we have to pull the image so let's see i'll take ubuntu and then if you write run minus it minus d ubuntu to run okay to create the container from the image and then we have start whatever the image id is available let's see something like this this is the image id then uh, the container image id then docker stop right then we have docker restart right and uh, if you really want to check how many running uh, containers are available so docker ps and then you simply write docker ps minus a it will tell you that okay how many running and non running stopped and started which are already stopped started and which are already stopped containers are there total number of containers are there so docker ps minus a if you want to check how many images are there so you have docker images if you want to check only image then you have to use ls total number of images are available now if you want to uh, remove a container so you have to use docker rm and the whatever the container id is there let's see this is a container id so container will be removed if you want to remove the image you have to use rmi and then whatever the image id is available so let's see image id something like this this is a docker rmi right and uh, docker inspect we have seen so let's see this is whatever the docker container is there so container id you can write you can check all the information about that container and uh, kill also we have seen the docker kill so docker kill a container forcefully okay it will not kill actually it will just stop a running container so docker kill let's see this is a container id so it will not remove the container it will just forcefully it will stop the container let's see if you're facing any issue with the container which is not responding properly so you just want to kill it and you can restart it what else inspect we have seen prune so you can prune image minus a for all the dangling images also you guys can use it guys so guys these are the important docker commands are available so docker build commands also there but if you really want to create your own docker images you guys also can do it but you should know what do you mean by docker file and all those things so docker build also you can do it but these are the most important commands are there okay all these commands are there guys around 3 plus 3 is okay 6 plus 2 8 plus 2 10 12 plus 3 15 commands 15 to 16 commands are there which are very important you know please practice it's very simple very straightforward and very useful if you are going for interview also people will ask you these kind of questions for docker right so that's all and these commands will be working in your uh, in any machine either it's your linux machine mac machine or windows not an issue So that's all for uh, this particular video, guys. I hope you really like this video, and I'm pretty much sure you guys are learning Docker. If you haven't covered the previous three videos, two to three videos, please check what you mean by Docker, how to install Docker, and please install it on your system and start practicing about Docker. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching this video.